The Bible says in Exodus chapter 3, I have seen the tears of my people. Has God seen your tears? Have you made God to see your tears? When you look at the way things are going around you, you see that all your effort is being grounded. You see that everything you have labored for is wasting and dying and sinking. Please cry to God. Learn to cry to God. Cry. Let God feed your emotion. Let God feel that you understand what you are passing through. Don't be saying, oh, yes, if you know things are not going well with you, you are not happy with the way things are going with you, you must learn to cry to God. You must learn to lift up your eyes to God. Lift up your eyes and cry. And let God see tears come out from you. Let God feel the passion. Let God feel the pain you are passing through. Because God loves you. Because he loves you. He does not want to see you cry. Make sure you know how to cry before God in prayer. Let God see your tears. In any way the devil wants to shake you, make you fall, make you sing, please run to God in prayer. To call on God to help us. One of the prophecy that was given to us for the month of January is that this month of January we bring about the manifestations of your hidden blessings. All your blessings will hide. All your blessings will then steal. All your blessings will then bury. All your blessings will then snatch from you. If you have faith, this month, God will work it out for you and there will be the manifestations. Somebody stand up now. Lift up your hands. Every plan of the enemy to shake you so that you will fall. If you can shout amen, the shaker will fall. Any man or woman that the enemy want to use to shake you to fall, they want to pull you down, they want to push you. If you have faith, another force will pull them down. Before they reach where you are to push you down, they themselves will fall. If this will work for your children, shout aloud, amen. Claim it for your husband, shout aloud, amen. Claim it for yourself. Shout seven powerful amen. amen. Hands up, eyes closed. The Bible says in Psalm 125, verse number 3, the scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous. The scepter, the weapons, the authority of the wicked ones will not remain. So any man or woman who is trying to shake you, trying to push you away from God, away from God, they want to tempt you away. They want to make sure you go away from God. Let God fight for you. Let God fight for you. Let God fight for you. Let God resist them. Let the glory of God resist them. In the name of Jesus. Someone say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? No one. Now hear this now. When I say cry, I mean cry. Psalm 119 verse 169 Psalm 119 verse 169 says let my cry reach you Lord give me understanding according to your word let my plea reach you rescue me according to your promise my lips pour out praise for you teach me your status my tongue sing about your promise 
for all your commandments are righteous. They let my cry. He separated cry from plea and separated plea from his lips. So you must cry to God. Now stretch your two hands to Jesus. We don't know those who are in danger now. You know, I keep telling people, don't be deceived when things are going well for you. Believe me. Don't be deceived. When things are going well for you, it's a dangerous time. You hear what I said? In here, Germany in coma or it's dangerous. Things were going well. With and for Abel. His sacrifice was accepted. But what happened? He died. He never knew. When things are going well for you, enemies are watching. There are people that will never be happy if you are rejoicing. So when things are going well with you, don't over rejoice to the point that you forget that you are fighting a war. I have come to realize that when things are moving well smoothly for me, that is when I'm conscious of war. I'm telling you the truth. But when there is commotion, maybe as I am now, I hear that there's problem in the school. I hear that there's problem in the that, that I, 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 I am always saying that so I am there. But when things are calm, when everywhere is looking peaceful, that may be the devil's strategy coming down to make you relax. Somebody say, I will not relax. Okay, lift up your right hand and say, my spirit will not relax. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Amen. Zenodon TV Zenodon TV Zenodon TV Reaching the world Zenodon Television Reaching the world